Hey, hoy, welcome back everybody. This is my second voyage on Virgin Voyages, Scarlet Lady. This time sailing out of Miami to Key West, Florida, and then on to Bimini with a couple of sea days in between. After about a 20 minute lift ride from the Hilton Bentley on South Beach, I was at the Port of Miami in plenty of time to join my 4.30 check-in time boarding line. Happily, my 4.30 boarding line started getting on the ship at about 3.05 in the afternoon, and 20 minutes later, I was through the check-in line and through security and on the ship. You have to be time for your mother. Hello. Hey, Hello. thank you. Scarlet Lady. <laughs> Everybody waiting for the elevators to get to their rooms. And the rooms are already ready. That's cool. Come aboard on deck seven. Razzle Dazzle's on deck five, which is where you make your dinner reservations. The girl said I could do it on the app, but the line goes pretty fast. So she says, we'll see. Oh, have people sitting down to make reservations. Must be why she said it goes fast. Awesome. I got my dinner reservations for three of the nights. Uh, one at Gun Bay, the Korean barbecue, then at the Wake, the steak place, and then at the Italian restaurant, Extra Virgin. The first night I just had a burger in the galley. Since all the elevators were still full, I decided to walk towards the uh, front of the ship and go to the other staircase and take some shots of some of the other venues they have around the ship, like the Red Room and the Poker Room in the karaoke room. I kept going back there to try to book a time slot, but they're full, it's very popular. The Sip Lounge. The Sip Lounge is one of the places where a lot of the solos seem to meet up. I think it's cool they got the Voyage Vinyl where you can check out record players and records, and then they got the craft beer bar right there, and the Lick Me Till ice cream, ice cream stand. And the pizza place. The pizza is great. They don't sell slices, and the choices are limited, but it's very good. Welcome to room 9206 Alpha. Very similar to my other room, which was, I think, 9062 Alpha. Anyway, check out that video if you haven't already seen it, but same room. That shower worked out well for me last time. I really uh, was comfortable. Nice size bed. I actually enjoyed that swing last time. Took a lot of naps in it. It's a bit sun faded. This time I don't have a boat right underneath me. That's awesome. Hello. I didn't see you come in. Once you get on board, you have to watch the safety video either on the app or on the TV. And I gotta tell you, they make it very entertaining. In half an hour, we will open all assembly stations so that you can check in. We're the only ship in the port today. The last time I had a hard time getting a drink at the bar when I first got on board, because something was wrong with my wristband. Let's try it again. For traditional cruise pina colada. Bon voyage. And ahoy. On Virgin Voyages, you won't find your traditional uh, drink package. What you'll find is an opportunity to prepay your bar tab. I think you'll find that they do measure their drinks. And if you ask for a floater on top of your pina colada, they'll charge you for it, sometimes differently. Okay, I just ordered from the Sun Club Cafe. I'm trying to bow, B-A-O, oyster mushroom and barbecue beef rib. Some sort of, uh, looks like a folded sandwich and pita bread, but we'll see. And when you order from some club cafe, they give you a buzzer. A little buzzer to tell you when it's ready, so I'll tell you how long it took. That took four minutes. Okay, this is the barbecue beef BAO, bao, I think it's called, and uh, oyster mushroom. Let's bite into these bad boys. Getting ready for the sail away party with all the champagne flutes. As you can see, here at Virgin Voyages, we do things a little bit different. Here we have the Happenings cast. We are a team of beautiful, sexy individuals dedicated to entertaining all of you. How many of you are here to party? The balancer! Yeah. Raise your 
will soon discover. Lift a glass from the treasures you have yet to uncover. May your voyage be filled with excitement and fun. And may your voyage with Virgin be an unforgettable one. To the Scarlet Ladies and all. The Sail Away Party on this ship, as well as the last cruise I was on, are fantastic. The Happenings cast is energetic and is free champagne, unlimited free champagne. Let's make shit happen! Now as we leave the beautiful port of Miami, we'll be heading out to the Atlantic Ocean and then down to Key West, Florida before heading on to Bimini. Virgin Voyages doesn't have a buffet. What they have is called a galley where they have several different food choices available, including a grab-and-go and tacos and a burger bar. All the burgers come with fries, but you'll have to ask for the cheese to be melted and you have to get your bacon from the next station over where they give the eggs. They are set up for table service with a flag menu that you raise if you want service, but I hardly saw that used at all. And they also have Japanese style bento boxes with sushi. I always love cruising past uh, South Beach in Miami Beach, Florida, and that park right there with the pathway, that's the uh, South Point Park. And if you saw my Hilton Bentley video, that's where I saw the cruise ship coming in at five o'clock in the morning. It was awesome. They do the pajama party on every Virgin Voyages cruise, I guess. And you don't have to wear your pajamas. There's a lot of cool outfits though. If you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing really helps out the channel and it's much appreciated. Welcome to Key West, Florida. Had a beautiful sunrise as we pulled into port. And after the PJ party, I had to go work out at the gym before I started walking around the island. Virgin ships have fitness equipment inside and outside. The cardio room is located on the port side of the ship, inside on deck 15, and the weight room is on the starboard side. I've been very fortunate to see Key West several times in my life. Never have I done it before on a boat or a ship. I'm just going to take in some of the usual favorite places of mine and then head back to the ship. Come back and check out the video on Key West that's coming up. That's a good reason to subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button and like. Thank you. Now let's get back to the boat for some Scarlet Night shenanigans. Should be fun. Let's go. While just walking around the ship, I heard some uh, great island type music coming from the perch above. I walked up there, got some free champagne, then I saw everybody had wristbands but me. I wasn't supposed to be there. Oh well. Well, tonight is Scarlet Night, so pretty soon these blue lights in the corridor are gonna turn Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet night. The lights are all red now. Hopefully they'll have it on the pool deck tonight. It's very windy. We'll see. To get to the Gun Bay Korean barbecue, you walk through the galley. There's washing stations there, and it was the first washing stations I've seen. They sit you next to other people, which is great, because as a solo, I got some great people to talk to, and they were fantastic. The menu is huge, and they have some really fun drinking games. We did get a lot of extra beef, because someone had a seafood allergy. <laughs>
Chapel. Just a note, before you try to take your wristband and put it on the activator, don't put the money in yet. Do that wristband first because uh, you put your money in and then you do the wristband, you're going to hit one of the play buttons by mistake and it might not be the denomination or the amount of credits you want. Just a heads up. I'm going to serve you some water so you can see your product in the shops. Uh, I'm going to start with the black label. This one is always from Scotland. That's one of the criteria to the Scots. It's a Scot. It was made in Scotland. The whiskey tasting event is $25 and you'll get $25 back on anything you buy after the tasting. And, uh, but this one is from Ireland. Okay? That is a fight between the countries, between Ireland and Scotland for who created the first whiskey. The Sailor Lutic, the Sailor Lutic can use here in the stores, but the bartender can use only at the bar. Okay, sexy, sexy, sexy. I keep hearing rumors that we're not going to Bimini tomorrow because of the seas and the weather. Um, but I went to get services and they said, no, they haven't made a decision yet. They'll make it about three or four in the morning. And uh, I asked them, what about the rumors? They say, they don't know. They can't control the rumors. And then in the casino, I asked one of their workers, and he said, oh, Bimini's a must go. So we shall see who's right. Either way, it's a good cruise. I made the best of my one and only reservation at the Wake restaurant. Last time, I didn't get a reservation at all except for brunch. Dinner was fantastic, and the views are amazing, especially from the back. I figured I'd walk off that excellent meal by going to the Picagave where they had a disco night going on. But they hadn't started it yet, so I wanted to go see some karaoke. That's always fun. The shows in the man are always awesome. I especially love the laser light show. But we got some weather coming ahead. Let's see what happens. Woke up in the morning and we were just kind of spinning off the dock at Bimini. Weather didn't look too good. Good morning. Welcome to Bimini. Actually, just off the coast of Bimini. Kind of spinning around waiting for the winds to die down. Uh, weather, was pretty, weather was pretty rough last night. And you can see the clouds behind, but it's looking to get better. See some blue skies ahead. So it's uh, 10 minutes to 8 in the morning. We were supposed to be at the dock by now, but uh, obviously you can't dock there if the winds are going to be pushing the ship against the dock. But it's looking pretty good up ahead. Look at that. Nice blue skies. Oh, Adverse weather conditions between up to 35 knots and forecasting to reach up to 40 knots. In addition to heavy rain and thunderstorms in the area throughout the whole day, we're unable to dock in Bimini today as planned. Well, there you have it. The captain just made an announcement that we're not going to be docking here at Bimini, so we're going to have a day at sea. I'm going to enjoy it. Ahoy! Okay, I found this. $1,000 voucher on the floor. Do the right thing, head to guest services because someone's going to miss this. Reservation was at 8.15, but it showed up at 8 and was seated immediately. 
Extra Virgin was great. The meatballs were fantastic. The Cabernero was great. The sea bass and the New York strip were both great. I loved it and I can't wait to go back. After dinner, I went to check out the show Ships of the Night. There's some great entertainment on board the Scarlet Lady. No trouble. I'm all about, I say no trouble. No trouble. I had another great cruise aboard the Scarlet Lady. Even though Mother Nature spoiled Bimini, had a great time at Key West and a great time aboard the ship. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.